Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Disney Cars 3 Diecast review. Today, we have two brand new mini racers to review as a part of the third case of them. Unfortunately, this case only includes two new mini racers being Fabulous Lightning McQueen and Florida Ramon, as you probably saw in the thumbnail. But anyway, I just wanted to mention a couple things before we get into the actual review of these two. First, if my voice sounds weird, it's because I got my wisdom teeth removed yesterday. All four of them, so all four are completely gone from my mouth. My mouth feels a little weird and it's kind of painful at times to eat and drink, but I'm feeling well enough to make a review for you guys. So here I am. Hopefully you enjoy it despite my voice being possibly a little distorted. But anyway, I'm still trying to do my best for you guys. Second, I got these two mini racers from the one, the only, Get Me Collectibles. So yes, two videos in a row where we have items supplied from Get Me Collectibles. Like I said in my review of Precision Series Flow, he's an amazing guy to buy from. The link for his eBay store will be in the description below, along with his email address. So if you want to email him regarding a specific item, for example, 2009 Race Rama Chuck Manifold, then you can definitely go ahead and do so. I actually have no idea if he has that or not, but you know, he might. All you gotta do is just send him an email. So now let's dive right into the review of these minis. So as you can see right off the bat, the packaging of the baggies has been updated for this third case KC whereas the two previous cases case A and B had this style design on the front so you had the question McQueen which there's no like special McQueen like a chase McQueen they just put that in there because it's like a mystery of who you might get but there is a coding system which we'll talk about in a couple moments here but it showed McQueen which is still the same right there of course you always have to have McQueen on the front then you have Doc Hudson who has been updated to Danny Swerbez Regular Cruz Ramirez, which is now Dynaco Cruz Ramirez, Jackson Storm to Dr. Damage, Murray Clutchburn to Tim Treadless, Cal Weathers to Sarge, and Sheriff to Smokey. So there you go. Those are the changes. Then we have real diecast car inside like before. The Cars Free logo up here. Mini Racers, Choking Hazard, obviously. On the back right here, we have the little coding system. So... I think 14 is Fabulous Lightning McQueen, and then 13 is Florida Ramon. I may be wrong about this, but I'm definitely not too far off because we only have two here. So 50-50 chance, right guys? By the way, big thanks to RPM Semi for holding up these bags for the first couple minutes of the video. Round of applause to him. But anyway, if you'd like to see my reviews of Mini Racers 1 through 12, like numbered on the bag here, 1 through 12, you can check out the description below. There are two links to two videos, one going to Mini Racers 1 through 8 from Case A, and then the second link going to 9 through 12 from Case B. So yeah, not all 12 were in the first case, unfortunately. So that's why you may have only found 1 through 8 at your local Walgreens or Best Buy, Kohl's, the places that these have been showing up at, which, you know, is not that many places. Like, I have not found these anywhere else besides... Walgreens and that's completely I mean that's just a little pharmacy store here in the United States and now hopefully they're available more widely in other countries which seems to be the case because our countries are getting in 1 through 12 without question like Australia and the United Kingdom hopefully Walmart and Target starts getting these in because like that would just help out so much in finding these so yeah that is pretty much it guys for the packaging here. By the way, this empty one is 11. So I think that was like Natalie Certain or Ramon or someone like that from a 9 through 12. On the back, you just have the legal information that we don't really care about. One vehicle, one poster. So we'll take a look at the poster in a couple moments here. So yeah, this is really the only important thing here. So just look at that number after the slash, the K16A. The code before that doesn't really matter to us in terms of deciding which car is actually in the baggie. So let's open up 13 first. I'm not going to do the slow motion thing because there's no point. Ah, uh, maybe there is a point because I can't get this open. And RC Cars 5, it's not slow motion, it's sped up. 
There we go. That took way too long. And look, I bent the poster. Oh, well. Let's just actually take a look at the poster right here off the bat. So the front side is exactly the same as the previous posters included with Mini Racers 1 through 12, like the same exact cars. McQueen, Chick Hicks, Murray Clutchburn, Cal Weathers, Doc Hudson, Natalie Serta, Ramon, Luigi, Cruz Ramirez, Jackson Storm, Sheriff, and Mater. And it's like a checklist. But now, instead of the other side being like ghost cars and they were like gray, I think I might have a poster laying around here. Yeah, hold on one second. I have them right behind me. So just hold on to that for a second. So I'm just unfolding it here. The front was exactly the same. Like, let's just flip it over, see, even like same positions of the cars but they were grayed out on the back. It said, look for more mini racers coming fall of 2017. So actually they are out early. It's not fall yet. Thank God it's not fall because fall means school again for pretty much everybody in the United States at least. So on the back here we have Danny Swerbez, Sarge, Fabulous Lady McQueen, River Scott, Dr. Damage, Dinoco Cruz, Ramirez, Smokey, Arby, Tim Treadless, Louise Nash, Dirt Track, Fabulous, Hudson Hornet, and Florida, Ramon. So that is 12 more mini racers. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm definitely looking forward to Dr. Damage and RV from the Demolition Derby. Kind of makes me wonder why they're not doing Miss Fritter, or maybe they're just saving her for another 12, another batch of 12 coming out toward the winter or something like that. But these are the two that we'll be reviewing today. So let's see what 13 actually was. Was I wrong? I already forgot what I said for 12 and 13 or 13 and 14. So it's Florida Ramon. Looks like mine's a little chipped over here, which is kind of to be expected with some of these because all you have as protection is this bag. So I can kind of like jump around, which is a little unfortunate. It doesn't seem to be in too bad of condition though. It's a very awesome looking Ramon. So we're just going to set that over to the side for now. Open up. This one out, look how easy that one was to open up compared to Ramon. And bam, we have Fabulous Lightning McQueen. Hopefully he doesn't have any scratches. Looks like he has a rather big one right there on the tip of the spoiler. I wish they wrapped these up in like some sort of bubble wrap or something inside the bag itself to, you know, prevent this from happening because it's very likely to happen when all you have as protection is the layer of the bag, which is very thin. So it's time to get into the reviews of these. 14 is Fabulous McQueen and 13 is Ramon. Just so you guys know that, we're going to move the camera down a little bit here so we can take a closer look at them. Clear out all this junk. We'll set the poster up back here so you guys can look at that. We'll start with Ramon because he is 13. Now Mattel hasn't made the 155 scale normal size version of Florida Ramon yet. That would match the size of this Ramon, for example. So we have nothing to compare the mini to, but I'm sure they will make a normal size version in the future. And as the title of him hints, he appeared at the Florida 500. A very quick appearance. I don't have any pictures of him from the, you know, the trailers or anything. I don't think I do. If I find one, I'll put it on the screen right here, but you guys will just have to watch the movie and remember for yourselves. I love the designs. They look awesome, very exotic, colorful, and just amazing. Fits Florida for me for sure because of like the bright orange. So you have like that orangish red color with like a peach, like a very light orange color in the background. Really reminds me of like an orange shake or something, like an orange milkshake. So if you take a look here at the hood, you have some pinstriping there. I like the shaded red and orange stripes. The expression looks cool. By the way, we will do a comparison to the regular Ramon in a couple moments here. Some more pinstriping here on the side. Very, very cool brown rims. There's the base, K14. That means it was made or produced the 14th week of 2017. On the back here, we have his typical low and slow license plate. The decal for that doesn't look to be applied so clearly, unfortunately, though. But for something so small, you can't really expect the decals to be perfect. You have some white pinstriping right there. Very, very cool. 
beautiful, beautiful car for sure. Now here is the regular purple Ramon included in the first wave, a 9 through 12 I guess I should say. I don't really know how to break this up, like wave 1 is probably like the front size or the front side of this poster and then the second wave is the back, but this is from case B, so very, very confusing. But you can see that the expressions are the same. The paint jobs, however, are extremely different as you can see. Very, very nice. I prefer the floor of the Ramon just because it's so brand new and we've seen Purple Ramon for 11 years now. Let me know in the comments which one do you prefer. And then my second question will be if you prefer Floor of the Ramon over Fabulous McQueen. I don't know, that'll be a pretty tough one, but I think McQueen might just win. So that's it for the comparison. We'll set those two aside. Well, I do want to show you guys some Mattel 155 scale Ramones that are kind of similar in color. We have the Road Trip Ramon here that's orange, but definitely more of a straight up orange versus the reddish orange here on the Mini. We also have Radiator Springs Ramon that has some orange in him but a very new and different paint job. Like I always thought, how are they going to keep coming up with new paint jobs for Ramones? There are only so many colors in the rainbow, but they keep on doing it. They keep on pressing me. So here we have Fabulous Lightning McQueen. There is a Mattel version of this that has just been released. Some people have been able to find him in stores, but mostly he has been on eBay and Amazon. I don't have one yet, so we can't do a comparison. Maybe when I review the 155 scale diecast version, I'll compare that to the Mini Racer, if I do remember. I do have the Disney Store version though, so we'll compare this to this Mini here in a couple moments. But let's just take a look here at the Mini solely. We have the Rusty's logo there on the hood in yellow. On the side, Fabulous Lightning McQueen, red rims, 95 here on the back. The Lightning McQueen tax right there in white. 95 in all four corners. You have the roof flaps. Fabulous Lightning McQueen, same stuff over here pretty much. And on the back, I love this, four dock cuts in, 95. Then you have the Hornet right there, the silver like Hornet logo, and then Rusty's. So very, very cool. Definitely a great tribute to Doc Hudson for sure. And so here is the Disney Store version. If you'd like to see my review of it, you can check out the description below. They have the same decals and everything, just maybe a little bit different coloring. I don't see like any decals or details that are missing from the mini that are on the Disney Store version. They seem to make everything fit on the Mini, which is definitely a good thing, except for the light year around the tires, which they haven't done on any of the Mini racers just yet, which I doubt they ever will, just because it is so small for them to put lettering on the tire, which is very, very small. It probably wouldn't look if they tried, like it'd be so crammed and blurry, so I'm glad that they actually did not. It looks like the Mini Racer is a slightly darker blue shade than the Disney Store version, but that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for sticking around for the entire video. I think that's all I really have to say about these two new Mini Racers from Cars 3. I definitely love this Mini line that Mattel introduced for Cars 3. They are all just amazingly done. And let me know if you prefer Florida Ramon or Fabulous McQueen. I think I have to go with McQueen, but definitely Florida Ramon is not too far behind just because of how exotic the colors look. And we also have Doc Hudson here to throw in there, man. They look awesome together. We have the regular Lightning McQueen, which by the way, same expression, same pretty much mold, except for all the decals, the paint jobs are entirely different. So we'll just do a quick little comparison since I forgot to, my bad. Very, very nice. I like the difference between these two. Like they look very nice together even though like they're the same character, if that makes any sense to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time for another one. Again, if my voice sounded weird, I do apologize, but I wanted to do a video for you guys, even though, you know, I got the wisdom teeth out. I just wanted to, I, you know, I cannot go that long without making a video. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now.